Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator of Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, as part of our nuclear Fortnite series, we're talking about the use of atomic weapons as we remember the 75th anniversary of the first use of atomic weapons in combat, uh, which took place on August 6th, 1945. If you've watched our previous videos, we've talked about uh, some of the nuclear weapons that Battleship New Jersey could carry, and we talked about the uh, strategic situation in the Pacific at this point in the war, and on the decision to drop the bomb in one video. In another video, we talked about the bomb being dropped on Hiroshima. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the Japanese finding out about the use of the bomb. So, the atomic bomb absolutely destroyed Hiroshima. Something like 69% of uh, buildings and one-third of the population of the city was dead or dying in the aftermath of the atomic bomb. This explosion was so severe that it completely destroyed all communication into and out of the city. Uh, which is to say that people in the rest of the country had no idea what had just happened. The United States had been firebombing Japanese cities for months now, uh, and the night before the raid, some 600 bombers had raided uh, cities around uh, the Japanese islands. But a little bit after the attack, radio stations and telegraph services started to notice that Hiroshima was completely off the air. Uh, and they were utterly baffled by this because no major raids had taken place on Hiroshima ever, and only a couple of aircraft had overflown the city. So what sort of uh, event could have occurred to take the whole city off of the grid? Uh, of course, shortly after the attack, word of a massive explosion that could be seen for miles and miles around uh, started to spread out around the countryside, but in Tokyo, 500 miles away, uh, people didn't quite believe it. How could a single bomb launched from a single aircraft destroy a city? What, what new weapon could the Allies have? Uh, why would they need to drop a new weapon when they're already destroying cities with impunity? So the first news to come out of Hiroshima came from a 14-year-old girl named Yoshi Oka. She was a high school student at Hasiyama Girls School, uh, and she was working as a radio operator in uh, one of the Japanese army headquarters at uh, Hiroshima Castle which was a, had about 40,000 troops in it and uh, Japan's last field marshal, uh, Shua Ruku Hada, was in command from there. So uh, this, this was a major center for the army. Um, and because of the nature of total war and the Japanese manpower requirements, they had uh, drafted this 14-year-old high school girl and others from her class to work in uh, staff roles in their offices. So 14-year-old Yoshi Oka is in a basement of Hiroshima Castle working as a radio operator and around 8.15 in the morning something happens that knocks her unconscious. Uh, she wakes up and she goes outside and her whole world has changed. Some 700 fellow employees, including 64 of her high school classmates, are laying around dead. Goes back to the radio she was operating in the basement, and she calls Fukuyama, another one of the military bases nearby, and she reports uh, Hiroshima almost destroyed. We were hit by a new type of bomb. 
what amazing presence of mind for a 14 year old high school student to be able to tell that. She can't have been outside long. Uh, like I said, her whole world had been destroyed. She was able to see uh, the ocean from where she was and the view of Hiroshima should have blocked it. So she was able to, one, tell that the city had been destroyed and two, tell that it was some new weapon. Uh, how awful that a 14 year old girl has had enough experience with American bombing raids that she knows the difference between types of bombs that are being used and can tell that uh, some new type had just been used to level her home. Uh, anyway, her radio call out was the first evidence uh, that something had happened that the outside world received. Um, but even so, these reports remained unconfirmed uh, and further reports were difficult to ascertain. Uh, General Shinroko Hata, who was the last of the Japanese field marshals, had been in command at Hiroshima Castle, and he was in command of the defenses of all of southern Japan. Uh, and he was a real astute guy. Uh, he had already correctly predicted what the American invasion of Japan was going to be and begun setting up his defenses to most effectively counter it. Fortunately, he would never get the chance to put those defenses to the test. Uh, but seeing the destruction of the city, uh, finding out that the mayor had been killed at breakfast, uh, uh, having most senior members of his staff killed or injured, he immediately took over the uh, disaster relief operations in the city and started to organize as best as he could with what resources he had available. Uh, his hospitals and his medical facilities were virtually gone, but he did have some suicide boats that were going to be used against the American invasion. So he started using those to transport the wounded out of the city, up the river to other places where they could get better medical care. Uh, he simply wasn't able to communicate effectively with the outside world but he started doing what he could with what he had where he was. Uh, meanwhile, like I said, Tokyo has realized to a couple different sources that Hiroshima was completely off the map. Uh, the telegraph line was cut somewhere around Hiroshima. They couldn't get a signal passed. Uh, the radio signal that had been broadcasting from Hiroshima was no longer broadcasting and nobody could get through via the radio or most uh, phone lines. Uh, and there was this report of a huge explosion, which could be seen for something like a hundred miles away, which is one fifth of the distance from Hiroshima to Tokyo. So the general staff in Tokyo know that something's wrong, but are really confused because no raid has, no major raid has taken place there. So they put a junior staff officer in an aircraft and tell him to fly south. And uh, it's something like a three or four hour flight. But within 100 miles of Hiroshima, the staff officer is able to see the remnants of the mushroom cloud still hanging there. Uh, and he knows that something very bad has happened. So he lands, he's able to report back to Tokyo uh, and starts working on relief efforts there on his own. The first positive confirmation that the Japanese had that an atomic weapon had been used against them came about 16 hours after the attack when President Truman announced the use of the bomb. These are the words he used. A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. The Japanese began the war from the air at Pearl Harbor. They have been repaid many fold and the end is not yet. 
With this bomb, we have now added a new and revolutionary increase in destruction to supplement the growing power of our armed forces. In their present form, these bombs are now in production, and even more powerful forms are in development. It is an atomic bomb. It is a harnessing of the basic power of the universe. The force from which the sun draws his power has been loosed against those who brought war to the Far East. We have spent more than two billion dollars on the greatest scientific gamble in history, and we have won. But the greatest marvel is not the size of the enterprise, its secrecy, or its cost, but the achievement of scientific brains in making it work. Now knowing that the city had been destroyed uh, and that atomic weapons had been used, the Japanese sent uh, some of their preeminent nuclear physicists to Hiroshima within the day to ascertain what they could about the destructive power of the bomb, what they were facing. Uh, I imagine they had a tremendous number of questions at this point. At the end of the day, uh, Japan was not ready to surrender, and the Soviet Union had declared war on them and launched an invasion of Manchuria. Uh, this, this is where the uh, Japanese began to impose martial law and prepare for the invasion of the home islands, uh, which they expected to be imminent. Truman threatened that a reign of destruction like the one at Hiroshima would continue if the Japanese didn't surrender. Uh, and the Japanese called the American bluff, saying that they couldn't have another weapon like this and they were not going to surrender. Uh, so the use of a second bomb would be authorized within the week. Thanks for watching today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so you're notified when we put out future videos, like the one coming up next about the bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you. Uh, and check the description for links to other videos in our Nuclear Fortnite series. Thanks for watching with us during the 75th anniversary of the only use of nuclear weapons in uh, combat anywhere in the world.